nice to see familiar faces and some new names. Uh, Andrew was asked to come out with something that was as risk averse as possible, uh, 100% capital protection for the duration of the product, yet still deliver a return. So if you have a look, part one, under the umbrella protection, 50% of our funds are going to be put into this uh, capital guaranteed and income guaranteed uh, product. So picture this as a three-year structured deposit, if you like. It will pay 20% at the end of the term. So if you were to divide 20 by the three years, it's just under 7% um, per annum. Now, if you compare that to a bond or um, any other cash deposit, um, it's still really strong. Part two says 50% of the capital is going to go into a growth-based uh, opportunity. Um, we might have had something similar to this in what we term a hybrid note previously for those that have gone into it. So there's this income piece paying out at the end of three years, one lump sum plus my capital back to my platform. The second part is going to then have a look at those four indexes that Andrew was talking about. And again, indexes bring us protection. Why? Because it's not any single stock, it's the whole index of stocks across those top territories. So what will happen? The bank's going to look at the growth and add up the growth of each of these. Thanks, Jill. Yes, we slick. This is cool. So if the S&P was to grow by a certain value and Nikkei and Euro and FTSE, and we added the sums up, that's the sum that would come back to us as growth, but it's capped at 37%. So if we divide 37 by six, that's another roughly 6% per annum that would be added to the product. But remember, it's 50% in one of our capital and 50% in the other. And Again, 50% will come out, 50% will come out. The question is, will we get growth? So if the underlying basket of notes, or sorry, if the underlying basket of indexes were to come up with a zero value or negative value, we would get our capital out. What's the chance of that happening across these indexes across six years should be your question. And most people would go and invest in indexes of this nature expecting a slight growth um, every year. So what are the chances you would then need to ascertain? So the intention, if we have a look at the next slide, thanks, Jill, is if we were to add up, this is a fictitious example, right? Let's say the FTSE was to grow, the Eurostox was to grow, S&P slightly, and maybe Nikkei down. Don't know what it's gonna be. Let's say it generates 47%. Remember, we're gonna get a maximum of 37%. Equally, if I have a couple down, etc., and this is gonna pay out, let's say the sum growth of 12% uh, in this example, it's 12% that would be added to my growth coupon at the end of six years. So let's have a look at it graphically. Across the bottom, we've got our growth percentages. Perhaps the growth is minus 10%. Uh, you could highlight, yeah, maybe minus 10. We're only going to get our capital out. Zero, we'll get our capital out. If we had a 10% growth, say, it's our capital plus 10%, 20, 30, all the way to 37. And if it was to shoot the lights out, perhaps these indexes grew by 50. Remember, it's capped at 37%. Again, that's 50% of our capital and 37% of that capital as a growth uh, opportunity.